Welcome back, everybody. Here with us now from Capitol Hill, Republican Senator John Thune from South Dakota. Sir, it's great to have you with us this morning, and we want to start off just getting you on the record. We have these reports that are coming out of Ukraine about the two down military planes uh, assumed to be shot down by the pro-Russian separatists. Your reaction to that? It uh, demonstrates, I think, that some of the capabilities that the separatists have and how important it is that we get the arms flow stop that's coming from Russia uh, into Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But more evidence, again, that uh, these folks have uh, bad designs and uh, capability to carry out these types of attacks. Well, uh, it demonstrates their capabilities for sure, but also just either utter chaos or an intensified plan on the part of Vladimir Putin to keep going and to get that part of eastern Ukraine that he wants. Well, it does, Mika. I think, again, that's it, it, it all, all these things, all signs point back to, to Putin. And uh, obviously, I think that we've got to make the case, the argument publicly uh, with the Europeans that assigns responsibility for the shooting down of the commercial airliner as well. But it's very clear the pattern here. I think this all, the narrative is, is continues to build and it should intensify, I hope, the pressure on the Europeans to join the United States uh, and others to try and put more pressure uh, on the Russians. This has got to stop. And obviously, uh, there's a, a lot of harm that's already been done and more that can be done if we don't get it under control. The president has gone as far to say that uh, the Russians are responsible and uh, came out with a pretty strong statement the day before yesterday. Um, but is there pressure that can be put on Europe as well um, for more unity? Sure there is, and I, and I think the president needs to continue to build a unified front with the Europeans. But sometimes I think, Mika, that it's not just, it's, it's, all, it's substance, but it's also form. And I think mm -hmm. the, the Europeans are looking to us to see what the United States is willing to do. And I think there is a lot more that can be done in terms of sectoral sanctions, some of the things that have been discussed earlier on the show this morning. But it is going to require American leadership, and hopefully the Europeans will come with us. Uh, but obviously at this point we're having a difficult time time making that argument. I think one of the things that was Tim Kaine mentioned just before me is the economic dependence that Europe has on the Russians, particularly with regard to energy. And that's again, makes the argument for why it's so important that we open up to LNG exports, uh, the European market, and the United States become more engaged in trying to provide some of the energy needs for Europe. I think that will take some of the economic dependence away and hopefully free them up uh, to, uh, to be able to put more pressure on the Russians. So, Senator, if the Europeans don't go along with us and uh, don't accede to our requests for increased uh, sanctions. What are our options? What do we do? Well, I mean, it's it's really hard, Mike. You've all talked about that this morning. Europe has so much more at stake here, the volume of trade, the economic relationship that they have with the Russians, the historic relationship. But I do think there are things that we can be doing. I mentioned LNG exports. I think sectoral sanctions, the United States leading the way, some things that ha we haven't done yet that we could do. Uh, I think providing small arms support to the Ukrainians. There are a number of steps I think that we could be taking, that we should be taking, and, uh, and, and help lead the way. I mean, I don't think the... The Europeans are just going to come there automatically. I think we have to make the argument, we have to make the case, starting with uh, the information that we have that uh, demonstrates that Russia was in fact responsible for the commercial, the downing of the commercial airliner. And I think that's, it starts there. Uh, the president's got to be more engaged, frankly. I mean, I appreciate everything that his people are doing, but the bottom line is, you know, he's busy, he's traveling the country right now. We all expect him to campaign. It's an election year. We expect him to raise money for Democrats. But uh, he's got to demonstrate, I think, a level of engagement on this issue and leadership that we aren't, we aren't seeing today. All right, Senator John Thune, thank you very much. Good to see you always. Thanks, Mika. You uh, bet.